Alright, what's up folks? It is Tuesday, May 16th, 2017. A little late with this one, giving you the recap of Game 2 between the Golden State Warriors and the San Antonio Spurs in the Western Conference Finals. I turned this game off, went to hockey, then just started watching other stuff. The hockey was born and made this game. It was nothing. Uh, Golden State won every quarter, won by 17 in the first, 11 in the second so they had a 28 point lead going into halftime by three in the third quarter and then by five in the fourth quarter for a 136 100 uh demolition of the san antonio spurs spurs got really nothing out of anyone who would need to step up without Kawhi leonard so you can say what you want about the Kawhi leonard injury as i said i thought that uh patrulia was making him think about it with the landing, I didn't think it was necessarily dirty. Uh, I didn't really recognize most of Pachulia's, Pachulia's uh, incidents until Greg Popovich raised the awareness, so that certainly would have changed my mind a bit, but it is what it is. Kawhi Leonard didn't play in this game. LaMarcus Aldridge only had 8 points, only played 27 minutes, but 4 of 11 shooting. Uh, he's got to be better in the absence. Paul Gasol, a guy who I would think would be certainly capable of putting up some sort of numbers at least a 15 and 8 sort of night it was only 7 points 8 uh, rebounds did only play 16 minutes but this is a guy who's won championships had a pretty productive season so it's really surprising to me I mean he put up almost 13 points and 8 rebounds throughout the season you know didn't play many minutes so he was put into the starting lineup I was expecting more Patty Mills 5 points Jonathan Simmons who actually replaced Kawhi Leonard had 22 he's played very well uh, Bertans at 13 off the bench. A lot of guys scored off the bench. You really can't put much into it because it was essentially garbage time from half on. For the Warriors, Clay Thompson, 4 for 10, shooting 11 points, 2 of 5 from 3. We'll get into the threes in a moment. And San Antonio shot 37 of 100, 8 of 23 from 3. Uh, Durant, 16 points, 28 minutes for him, 29 for Thompson. Um, plus 21, plus 25, Durant and Thompson, respectively. Steph Curry at 29 points, 8 of 13, 6 of 9 from 3. Draymond Green, 13 points. And again, the bench, uh, can you really go into it? I mean, McCraw, who got some minutes early on, played 27 at 18 points, but it was essentially all garbage time. Matt Barnes was in the negative in the plus minus. He was the only guy in the negative for them. No guys were in the plus for the San Antonio Spurs. And Barnes played 15 minutes. I'm assuming a lot of it was mop-up duty. 18 of 37 from 3, 50 of 89, 56.2. Now, we can say whatever we want about the Kawhi Leonard injury. The fact is San Antonio's got to be better than this. Uh, you know, Golden State can have one of these games. So, you know, if it's going to happen, it may as well just happen without Kawhi Leonard. They may have had this game regardless of if he played for not. I mean, shooting 56.2, how much of a difference do you think Kawhi Leonard is going to make? I know he's a spectacular defender, but this is a situation where you just know it's their night, and that's what happened. 18 of 37 from 3, that's damn near 50%. 48.6, just one shot off. 18 of 36 would have been 50%. So you got to look at it that way. As for San Antonio moving forward, you know, Kawhi Leonard, the next game's not going to be till Saturday. If he can play, you head back home. You are down 2-0. It's difficult. But if you really think that the Kawhi Leonard injury made that big of a difference, which obviously you can say it has. What has it been? Uh, minus 59 since he went out with that injury. So uh, obviously there will be talk about Kawhi Leonard's MVP case, whatever you want to make of it. Uh, I don't think he really necessarily played much of a factor in this game, whether he played or not. It may have been a little bit closer. Golden State may not have gone off of 136. But regardless, he's not going to slow that team down to that regard. I mean, he's not going to be marking up Steph Curry that much. He was 8 of 13. Kevin Durant, again, 6 of 10, didn't play many minutes. That's where he would have been on. Durant only had 16 points. So I'd say forget about Kawhi Leonard in this one. If you can get him back on Saturday and, uh, you, you know, you're down 2-0, but you go home again. I'm not the biggest person who believes that you know home court is the you know panacea or the golden bullet or whatever magic bullet, whatever you want to say. But the situation still remains. The teams play better at home. I mean, the Celtics just won four home games, so you have some time if you can get them back. That's how you prove that uh, we are a different team with him. Like I said, they got demolished since he's gone out. I guess it was a plus. They were up 23 or 25, whatever it was, and then lose by 36. We'll just say minus 60 to round it all. 
since he's gone out, basically getting crushed. And let's see what happens moving forward. But they've got to get more out of LaMarcus Aldridge. Jonathan Simmons has been nice. He'd be a nice guy to have off the bench. I think if Leonard can play and play well, you move Simmons to the bench, you have something there. Patty Mills certainly has to step up his game. Paul Gasol, when he's in, has to show that pedigree. Danny Green, only five points. I mean, just got to be better. And clearly, you've got to... I mean, Golden State, I wouldn't expect is going to shoot that well. They're certainly capable of shooting close to these numbers, but not that well moving forward. And then from there, you try to win those two in San Antonio, regroup, and then get it to a best of three series, and then let your you know horses go, as Greg Popovich said. But that'll be something that we'll have to wait on. A lot of days off between this one and Game 3, which is coming Saturday, of course. All right, so we have the Eastern Conference Finals tomorrow. Of course, I will give you the preview of that. Very excited for that series as a Celtics fan. We'll have to you know break that down for you give you uh, the predictions and all that stuff and then once that game goes final tomorrow night I believe it's starting at 8 yep 8 30 we will give you the recap of that when it goes final unless it's a complete demol demolition like this game was I will almost certainly watch the entirety of the game because I like the Celtics so be sure to stay tuned for that tomorrow night we really appreciate that remember any subscriptions and shares we also appreciate those as well thank you all so much we'll see you tomorrow have a good one